Hello and welcome back to the tutorial of Microsoft Project Management 2013. In this tutorial, we will learn about making the predecessors. So let's start with assigning few of the tasks. Let's say the task A is manually scheduled and the duration is of one day. As we can see, the day is by default value this tool takes. Let's make the start day to the next week, say 26th of January. So we'll see that it has taken automatically a finished date as 26th January, that is one day. Let's come to a new task, the number two. Let's name it as B. And let's take the duration as two days. The start again as 26th. we'll see that it has automatically taken as 27th. Let's include one more task as task C for a duration of three days. And again, the start day as 26th. We can see that it has omitted Saturdays and Sundays and automatically taken three working days. Let's also assign another task B for four days. Again, the starting point as 26th. I hope you guys do not have any confusion about how to add the durations and how, and you are very much clear about what is manually scheduled and auto scheduled. All right, so let's proceed with the working of predecessors column. Let's suppose if you are not having a predecessors column, if I click right click on predecessors and hide it, you can see that it has gone. So there is one way of recollecting a predecessors column. If you right click on any of the column, you will see a value saying insert column. If you click on insert column and just type P, you will see that there is a predecessors value. Just click on it and you will see that your column has been inserted. So here comes the first question in our mind that what is it actually predecessors? So predecessors are basically defining of a relationship between the two successive tasks. One important thing to remember in predecessors column is that it will only take the test ID. If you just, if you can see the mouse button that one is for A, two is for B, and C is having three and vice versa. So it will only take the, te the task ID that is one, two, three, etc. For example, if we just try by entering say A in row B and press enter, you can see that an error message pops out where it is clearly written that type only positive whole numbers for simple relationships between the task in the same project. So guys, now I need you to focus on the bar. If you can see that all the start dates are starting from the Thursday. Now let's try to make A the predecessor of C. So what we need to do is just type one in the row C so that a task ID one can be captured in that predecessor. So you can see in the bar that there is a relationship that defines that after completion of task A, C will automatically start. One important thing to note in this is that the start date here has automatically been changed to the finished date of A. So just for practice, let's try to make three tasks as the predecessor of fourth by typing three in the row fourth. As you can see in the bar that the fourth task has been assigned to the finish of third task. So that's all for today in this tutorial. Hope you guys are doing well. See you soon. Thank you.